Dave, thank you. The You Paid For It team on the hunt for answers, but encountering colorful characters. Some politicians just don't want to give straight answers to tough questions. The result, memorable moments. Investigator Elliot Davis with the recent running. No shortage of fireworks when I went to Venice, Illinois. I wanted to talk about the eight aldermen getting paid in a town of about 2,000 people. All woman Celestine Williams wanted to shift the subject to the mayor's pay. The result, a you paid for it standoff. He gets two checks, we get one. So you guys think it's okay for his, his, he gets He gets two, we get one. So you he gets two, we get one. So he gets two, we get more. He gets two, we get more. He gets two, we get one. I'll take the camera and I'm done with your discussion. I ran into something new with Rock Hills Mayor Julie Morgan. She decided she wouldn't talk to me about the city's failed eminent domain project. She wanted to talk to another Fox 2 reporter who'd covered the issue. Can't you answer taxpayers and the people who've been displaced? Another with Chris again. Sometimes the people I talk to get the jump on me, like St. Louis Alderman Charles Quincy Troop. I came to question him about more than one hundred thousand dollars he spent for decorative neighborhood street markers. Are you up to some of your desks, LEDs today? And I always seem to run into new descriptions of what I do, like when I questioned Richard Gaines, a member of the special administrative board that runs the St. Louis School District. I questioned why they paid so much to a consultant to tell the district what schools to close. Excuse me, could you tell me that, Mr. Gaines, was that a waste of money? You know, for I would love to have a conversation with you, Mr. Davis, mm -hmm. if you want to really talk issues. Okay. Now, if you want some shock you, I got you journalism, but that I don't have time. I couldn't forget the Riverview Garden School District that's paying two superintendents to run the trouble district. Both came out to answer my questions on why the district overcharged taxpayers on a tax levy. So even though, so even though you guys, he, he, can, can I, we can have I finish doc, asking we have my documentation can I, can that our current tax rate is I just wanted set. to finish I asking, that. but can I finish asking the co like my question? We would like to give you accurate information. But, and the Speaker of the Missouri House, Ron Richard, wasn't mincing words when I asked him why not get rid of all those directories with House members' pictures on them that's costing taxpayers a bundle? You can take the leadership role and initiate it and say, Just hey because guys, you said it's true, don't make it so. And since we're talking about colorful people, I just can't resist a quick detour down memory lane. We just want to find out when the signs are going to go back up. Can you... Can you tell me that? Did I take them? Did I take them you down? Find them. I said, did I take them down? Who do you think you're fooling with? Do you know that Jesus loves you, Elliot? Yes, I do. Okay. And I love Jesus. Good. Well, I think that's important for us all to know, and I hope that you continue to realize that. But what about the juvenile justice? Act? Jesus loves you, Elliot. Do you know that? What kind of man are you? A man that wants to. Are you a questions. traveling man? I'm sorry? Are you a traveling man? How do you mean that? Thank you. <laughs> you don't know that. Shame on you. I got him. <laughs> I got him. Well, stay on the lookout for colorful characters and keep the spotlight on officials wasting your money. Remember, if you spot questionable government spending, make sure you call our hotline. Here's the number, 800-846-KTVI. Or go to our website, foxunow.com, and I'll investigate. After all... You paid for it. He's had some interesting conversations uh, over the years. I think it is fodder for a book. <laughs> yeah. I don't know.